So, James, uh, good to good to speak to you. We're going into the season this Saturday. Uh, it feels like it's been a long time coming, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's probably um, well, not probably. It's definitely been the weirdest pre-season to date. I think in terms of actually time in the training ground and obviously not um, not going on a pre-season tour, it's probably been the longest time. Um, but without football for five months, it's definitely definitely felt like the shortest pre-season. Um, it's nice to be back in. Um, nice now to have played a couple of competitive games and um, with the first game in sight, it's nice. Does, even though you say it was a bit of a uh, different pre-season, does it feel like it's a bit more organised and structured this year rather than coming into last year? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think there was... It was hard for everyone. Um, everyone there was very up in the air, the five months off, um, in terms of having to plan for the new season when the old season finished. Um, so I think it was tough, but I think the club have communicated very well to the players, um, an organised plan. And I think that will stand us in good good stead um, for the start of the season. In terms of last season, it ended um, with an upturn in form um, for yourself personally and for the team as well. Yeah. Um, so do you think that's going to give you a bit of uh, momentum going into this year? Yeah, I think um, towards the back end of last year, we definitely built up that momentum. We'd kind of, um, I think everyone was much more on the same page, tactically, positionally. Um, everyone had a bit of understanding of how we wanted to play, how we wanted to look. Um, and I think had the season finished, we would have we would have carried on, and we probably would have finished a lot higher than we than we did. But um, having said that, I think that stands as well for this year. Um, having maybe not finished the season, and maybe we can go a bit under the radar and just carry on the momentum that we've got now. Yeah, talk about carry on as well. So obviously a lot of the same team. I think the only real new face is Jordan Thomas, which is obviously one yeah. person in it in quite a big group. So yeah, do you feel that familiarity will be a big boost this year. Yeah, definitely. I think it's good to find a to find a balance. It's nice to have new faces, um, freshen things up. Um, the days we have, the weeks we have, everyone spends a lot of time together. So it's nice to have um, fresh faces every so often um, to add to kind of competition to the team. Um, but at the same time, it's nice it's nice to have that familiarity with everyone. Um, know everyone and we do have a kind of good feel around the place. Talk about fresh faces, one of them in the coaching staff was Danny Sender. How has he worked yeah. in terms of you personally? Yeah, really good. Um, obviously with the kind of position change this year, uh, for myself, um, Danny being a fullback as he was, um, it's been good to, good to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with him on the training pitch um, to understand where he thinks I can improve, um, what I am good at and what I need to carry on. Talk to me about that because obviously a bit of a debate sometimes when people see you playing left back versus people see you further up the field is that where you're comfortable yeah yeah um like i said i think there's there's pros and cons of both um me myself i like getting on the ball a lot i like running at people i think that that is obviously my pace my strength um i think when you're playing fullback it's a lot easier to get the ball you're facing the opposition's goal um so you don't have to work as hard off the ball to get the ball which is nice but then obviously um being deeper being nearer your own goal becomes a greater responsibility to defend um, and make sure that you're getting the better of their winger. Mm, absolutely. Back to uh, back to obviously league action this Saturday, but before then we had a couple of cup wins back to back. What's that yeah. done for the kind of atmosphere and the feeling around the place? Um, I think good. I don't think we've we've yet got going um, ourselves in terms of on the ball, um, attacking, controlling the play, dominating. I think we've showed spells. Um, I think what's really good is we've shown as a team that we can defend as a good unit, as a whole team. Um, and we don't really look in danger of conceding too many goals, which I think at points last year um, let us down. So it's nice to have that feel. And I think it, it's good for us that we, we haven't yet probably feel ourselves get going um, because that just shows there's plenty more to come. So we're looking forward to this week. Um, the last two games obviously gives, gives a bit of momentum and give us that kind of mentality, that winning mentality. Sold him away, but you say away without the fans there, it kind of doesn't give her that kind of edge to it, does it? Yeah. What's your experience been behind closed doors? Um, strange, yeah. Um, obviously, we had the pre season games. Um, you definitely know when you're playing a pre season game, the intensity is not there. Having said that, when we played for a screen on the weekend, there was intensity there, but without the atmosphere, it is very strange. Um, I think sometimes away games, it might benefit us um, that the kind of home team don't have that atmosphere, the crowd behind them, that can sometimes put you under a bit more pressure. They become the 12th man for us. But then um, for our games at home, we need to make sure that we're car carrying on, creating the atmosphere for ourselves to go and push forward as a team. Absolutely. And to uh, Oldham themselves, obviously there was a couple of quite close battles, I think, last, last season with Oldham. Um, yeah. Quite kind of edgy games. Expect them all the same? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think they've made a few signings over the summer. Um, they had a good result on the weekend. 
Um, but like I said, we're, we're very focused on ourselves at the moment. We, we've come in pre-season underway. We know what's expected of us, how we want to look, how we want to play. Um, so we're going, going there this weekend very positively. Um, obviously, we've won two games so far, but none have been in the league, so we haven't got any points on the board as of yet. So we're looking to go there for the three points.